I'm Jackson Peters and I'm coming to you live today from the interstate because I'm going to visit my sister who lives in Birmingham, Alabama. And I've rigged up my camera so I can watch the road or look at the camera and either one is fine. Um, although there's a cop up here so maybe I'll... I, I don't know how legal this is. I mean, I don't feel that safe, but... Hello, officer. It's the Talladega National Forest. The leaves are changing. I'm sorry my windshield's so dirty. Here, I'll fix it. There we go. I don't think that helped. I, I think that made it worse. I'm not really into NASCAR, but if you are, we're passing Talladega right now. Anyway, since I wrote a book about sisters, I thought I would use this opportunity to talk about sort of sisterhood and how having a sister affected me when I wrote Sisters Red, because that's one of the questions I get most often. So my sister and I did not always get along very well. When we were younger, we were very different people. She wanted to be a nurse, and I always wanted to be a writer, and I was kind of like, why do you want to hang out with sick people all day? That kind of seems lame. And she was like, why do you want to write books? That seems like a lot of work. And so we disagreed on a lot of things. We didn't really get along until we got a little bit older, like when I was a senior in high school and she was a freshman in high school. And at that point, I think both of us started to accept one another for who we were. And it wasn't until we could understand and be okay with the fact that we were two very different people that we were able to get along as sisters. That's kind of the relationship I tried to capture in Sisters Red. Neither Scarlet nor Rosie is more in the right. And they have to make a choice if having different opinions on the same issue is going to make them closer or is going to drive them apart. The other question that I get asked most often when I say that we didn't get along when we were kids is what is the meanest thing that you ever did to your little sister? So one time when we were a little bit older, not terribly old, um, I was like, hey, Katie, come downstairs. Um, we're going to play a, an Imagine game. We're going to play Pretty Princess, and I'm going to tie you to this, this post, and then I'm going to come rescue you. So being a rather trusting child, Katie like toddled downstairs and she let me slowly loop loop this rope around her and I was like, all right, and now I'm gonna save you. Peace out, bye. Went upstairs, turned off the lights in the basement, slammed the door and waited for her to yell. It was kind of satisfying in retrospect. I don't think it caused any lasting damage. I don't think. She is kind of weird though, maybe it did. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.